Hola, buenas noches. Buenas noches, tío. ¿Cómo están? Bien, gracias. ¿Y usted? Todo bien. bien. Gracias a Dios. Por casualidad no está lloviendo donde viven. No, está haciendo mucho calor, pero nada de lluvia. Ah, bueno. Algunos ah, no van claro. a conectar según ellos porque está lloviendo. Nada de lluvia. Bueno, vaya, vamos a dar inicio, sean bienvenidos, a, bueno, bienvenidas, porque no hay otros acá, a la clase de ahora. Esta es nuestra clase número 15, ¿ok? Y nos vamos a mover al idioma inglés. Um, do you remember what was the previous class topic? What were we talking about? Any volunteer? We talk about this person or characteristic. And this is, is small, tall, color eyes, color uh, skin. Okay. So we were talking about family members, correct? And we were also talking about some adjectives in order to describe family members. Like, for example, I'm going to ask one of you, give me all the adjectives that we use in order to describe the hair. And that's going to be uh, answered by Alexandra. All the adjectives that we use to describe hair. Mm, long, mm -hmm. brown, yes, um, straight, creo que era lacio. Mm -hmm. mm, I don't remember more. Okay, so you don't remember more? It's okay. I want you to, the, to give me the adjectives to describe the face, Lydia. Okay, Lidia. Eh, no sé si um, la clase de ayer, porque como yo no, no, no me conecté ayer. Ah, okay, don't worry. Sí. Alexandra, what are the adjectives to describe to describe the face? Mm. Beautiful. Uh -huh. uh, for the form, um, heart. Mm, mm, okay. I don't remember. Mm, okay. Thank you. What are the adjectives to describe eyes, Sandra? Green, mm -hmm. big, yes. blue, black, small, brown, almond. Narrow, slanted, slightly. Okay, thank you. Debut, good evening. Hello, teacher. Hi. Uh, tell me the adjectives to describe the skin color. Mm, sorry. Creo que me agarró un curvo un poco. Conectando, voy a la clase. Don't worry. Ya no vamos a poner el día. Baldomar, the adjectives to describe a skin color. Repeat, teacher. I need you to give me the adjectives to describe a skin color. What are some adjectives that we use to describe a skin color? Uh, singular. Um, <clears throat> car example car mm, no. Uh, no the the question is about a skin color eugenio can you please help baldomar
Sorry, uh, uh, what is the question? Um, I would like you to give me the adjectives to describe a skin color. Skin color? Yes. Black. Mm -hmm. Black? Yeah. What else? Black, white. Um, okay, Sandra, go ahead, please. And light brown. Light brown, dark White light light. skin. Brunette. Brunette. Dark light. Dark light. And smooth. Smooth. Brown. Okay, thank you. Uh huh. So, David, Baldomar, and Eugenio, you are pending with that answer. Okay, uh, let's listen to Geraldine. Give me the adjectives to describe height. To describe? Height. Um, tall? Yep. Uh huh. Very large. Mm, I don't think so. I what is the opposite of tall? Small. Short for people. Short. Short. Mm -hmm. Higher. Okay. Medium height. Tiny. Tiny. Okay. Great. And now let's listen to somebody else. Ana Flores, give me the adjectives that you use for appearance. Appearance. Mm -hmm. Eugene? I forgot, sorry. It's okay. Uh, I think so, uh, handsome. Uh huh. Handsome. And... Can I say? Can I say? Davy is pretty. Eugene. Can I say? Davy is pretty. Yes, it's pretty. What? What's up? Alexandra. Can I say? Davy is pretty. No. Why? Because Premi is for yeah. is for human. Human. Mm. Oh, it's common. I don't remember how can I say this word. Any other woman. answer? Ah, for woman. For woman. Who said that it's just for ladies? Me, Anna. Ah, uh, yes, yes Anna is right. Pretty just for ladies, woman. Eugene. And Dave is not a lady, he's a boy, a man. Okay. All right. So, <laughs> and Dave was like, no, don't say that. <laughs> I confused. I confused. I got <laughs> confused. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. So, Dapper, who can tell me what the meaning of Dapper is? Dapper. Mm -hmm. Hector? It's mean in Spanish, attractivo. Dapper is more than handsome, okay? More than handsome. All right. So let's see. Any other adjective that you have for appearance, Hector? Um. I don't know, I don't remember anything. You don't remember anything? Are you sure? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, it's all right. Now, let me go ahead and share my computer's screen. And then we are going to uh, study some other adjectives to describe personality. And once you can see it, just let me know, please. So for personality, I want you to help me to complete the chart for personality. 
we have been studying or practicing the adjectives to describe hair, face, eyes, skin color, height, appearance, and personality. Uh, now we're going to study the personality ones. Uh, can you see the computer screen or not yet? Yes, I can see. Okay, yeah. so I'm going to help you and I'm going to give you one example. Extroverted, do you know what the meaning of extroverted is? Extrovertido. Extrovertido. Okay, but I want the, I want the answer in English. Extroverted is a happy person, a happy that's a person that socializes with everybody, that meets friends, that wants to go out, I don't know, every weekend, if it is possible, depending on how much money they have. Okay, so what is the opposite of extroverted? Introverted. 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 Okay, give me more, please. More personalities. Let's Brave. see. Uh, let's, let's, talk about, let's talk about our personalities. Ana Flores, tell me, what's your personality? Me? Yes. I'm going to give you mine. I'm an organized person. I'm an organized person. Uh, patient. Patient. Okay, so you are patient. Great. Eugene, what is your personality? Uh, I can say smart. Smart. Okay. Great. Lydia, what's your personality? <laughs> Hyperactive. 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 Really? Hyperactive. <laughs> Okay. Okay. It's all right. So, Sandra, I'm sorry, Alexandra, what is your personality? Brave. Brave. Okay. If you don't know, if you don't know any um, adjective, you can go ahead and Google it. Hyperactive. Hyperactive. Okay. Brave. Awesome. Now, uh, Sandra, what? I'm sorry, Ana Flore, what is your personality? Okay. Oh, you already said it, patient, right? Sorry. Okay. Sandra, what's your personality? Serious. Serious. Okay. Serious. Debbie, what's your personality? Debbie? Uh, hello, teacher. Uh, my uh, my personality is introverted. And In, are you introverted? Um, how do you say uh, amigable? Uh, so you are not introverted. You are the opposite, extroverted. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, Jenny, what's your personality? It's happy. So you are a happy person. Geraldine, what's your personality? Talkative. Talkative, okay. All right. Adriana, what's your personality? I'm shy. So you're shy, okay. Uh, Leyland, what's your personality? Social. Sociable? Okay, Patricia, tell me your personality. It's calm. Okay. Calm. Teacher, may I say lovely? Lovely, okay. Lovely, yes. Okay. Uh, Luis, what's your personality? Hi, good evening. Uh, maybe uh, hungry. 
angry? Are you angry? Okay. What do you do to control yourself? What do you do to control yourself? Uh, me? Yes. Uh, calm. So you try to calm down. Okay. It's great. Calm down. Sylvia, what's your personality? Friendly. Friendly. Okay. Friendly. Great. Okay. If you see, we have a lot of personalities. Each person has its, I mean, their own personalities. You see, we have extroverted, introverted, organized, patient, smart, serious, happy, talkative, shy, sociable, calm, lovely, angry, and friendly. Okay, great. Now, uh, before continuing, with the next exercise. I want you to complete some information on the platform. So we're going to go to the platform. Let me go ahead and close this up. Okay. And here it says, David, can you please help me with this reading? Okay, teacher. Let me see. Instructions. Eh, lo que aparece en la pantalla. No. Yeah, the blue one color. The blue one. Bueno, lo que me aparece ahorita en la pantalla es. No change the la pantalla, teacher. Uh, okay. work. Don't no, change. The screen didn't change. Thank you for letting me know that. Okay. Ya iba a comenzar a decir los lo URL que aparecía. Ah, <laughs> uh, all right. I'm sorry. Okay. Reading uh, exercise. Yes, reading exercise. David, thank you. Okay. The Chang in the family. Instruction. No, the blue color, no. please. Instruction. Ah, sorry. Instruction. Read the article, the answer this question, write the names of the family members. Mm -hmm. Type in only the names, mm -hmm. not full sentence. Mm -hmm. Are necessary. Do not type a period. Okay. Now, let me see if I can make it bigger. Just give me one minute. Reading the changing family. So I'm going to show you some paragraphs and I want you to read the information. Once we read the information, we will be able to answer some questions. I think it's loading. Just give me a couple of minutes. It's still loading. I don't know why. Let's wait just one minute. If it doesn't work. Oh, there you go, there you go. Let's see if I can make it bigger. Yay, the changing family. Okay, there you go. Let me move it up to the top. And we are going to double check here. Just give me some seconds. Oh, I can move it there. Okay, so uh, let's see. I'm going to select Adriana. Can you please read this paragraph first? Okay. Yes. American families are changing. 
One important change is that most married women now work outside the home. What happens when both parents work? Read about the Morales family. Thank you. Geraldine, continue. Julie and Steve Morales have three children. Josh, 12, Ben, nine, and Emily, six years. Steve is a computer programmer. This year, Judy is working again as a hospital administrator. The family needs the money and Judy likes her job. Everything is going well, but there are also some problems. Thank you. Okay. Now, let me make it bigger a little bit here. Okay. Uh, Sandra, continue. Sandra. Yes, okay. uh -huh. Lo puede hacer un poquito más grandecito. Mm, let me try. Is that better? Yeah. Now that Judy is working, Steve has to help her more with the housework. He doesn't enjoy it. Thank you. Sylvia, continue. Okay. Judy loves her work, but she feels too tired and busy. She also worried about the children. Judy has to work on Saturdays, so Steve and Judy don't have a lot of free time together. Thank you. Hector, continue. Emily, Emily is having a great time in her after school program. When Judy comes to pick her up, she doesn't want to leave. Okay, thank you. Now let's see. Let me make it bigger. Okay, there you go. Uh, let's continue. Let's see, David. Okay, teacher. Unfortunately, uh, how do you say? Unfortunately, unfortunately, Ben's school does doesn't have an after school program right now. He's spending most afternoon in front of of the TV. Okay, and I need the last volunteer to read this paragraph. Here, okay. Just enjoy, just enjoying his need of freedom. After school, he's playing his music louder and speaking, spending more time on the phone. He is also doing a fair household chores. Household chores. Okay. Household chores. Now, after completing the reading, it says here, which children are benefiting from jury working? Which children? Emily. Emily. Um, Emily and? Josh. Josh. And Josh. Yes. Emily and Josh. Which child is not benefiting from during working? Ben. It's ben. Sorry? Ben. 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 Which family member is enjoying more freedom. Josh. 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 Which family members are doing more housework? Steve. Steve and Jack Morales. No. Steve and Josh. Steve and Josh. And Josh. And which family members feel to be seen? Judy. Judy. Judy's. 
Okay. Let's see the answer. Yes. Incorrect. Why? Which children? Let's follow the instructions. He says, answer the questions. Write the names of the family members. Eh, teacher, eh, a mí, bueno, yo en la plataforma lo hice exactamente igual, pero sin el apóstrofe y la S. Ah, ok. How about Emily and Josh? Sí, pero se, está mal escrito Emily. Emily. Ok. Emily. How do you... Tiene que cambiar la E por I. Emily. I. I e for I. Emily and hey. Josh and Josh and, and ben. Ben. Mm -hmm. ben you can erase it exactly. and Josh okay Steve and Josh okay and Judy let's see if it, if it works yes okay Great. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Great job, guys. Awesome. Now, let's continue. What I want you to do, I want you to use all those adjectives to describe people since we have been talking about family. However, let me go ahead and stop here. And I'm going to share with you the list of adjectives that we are going to use. Just give me some minutes, two minutes actually. Okay. Once you can see the computers, the, the picture, just let me know. Can you see it or not yet? No yet. No yet. Okay. Thank you. There you go. Can you see it now? No. I sent it. Yes, I can see it. Okay. Now, I'm going to share my computer's screen one more time because we're going to talk about our family members. And the expression that you are going to use, you're going to say, I'm going to talk about, talk about, um, I don't know. Caroline, for example, Caroline. She is my sister and she is tall. She is intelligent. Complete sentences, okay? Not, not just intelligent, tall, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, she is intelligent. She is extroverted and talkative and um she i mean she has she has a um, brown eyes brown eyes and she has Dark light skin, dark light skin. Okay, so if you see, there you have the information that I want you to give me. There is something else I want to add on the adjectives. Once you can see my computer's screen, just let me know. I'm going to share that again. Let me see, give me one minute.
you can say he or I mean he or she has has short uh short and black hair okay brown hair gray hair purple hair he or she has okay are you following me yes yes teacher okay he or she has green eyes blue eyes small eyes he or she has dark light skin just with this adjective you are going to say she is he is brunette you are not going to say she has brunette here you are not going to say has you are going to say he or she is tall is short is medium height okay i have a question yes uh, we need mention all the uh, categories adjectives adjectives exactly mm -hmm. yes you can talk about oh. the hair then the face after that about the eyes skin color okay okay appearance and personality for example i can say i'm going to talk about my sister okay so you can say she she has a short hair um she has a beautiful face with green eyes she has light brown skin okay she is tall. Um, she is pretty and introverted. Is that clear? Is that clear or not clear? It's a clear. Yes. It's, it's clear. It's clear. Okay. Let me go ahead and send you the a screenshot one more time. But in the meantime, I want you to check this slide first. Can you see the PowerPoint? Yes, I can see. Yes. yes. Okay. So look at that example, describing family. So there you have, this is my brother, Tim, or you can also say, I'm going to talk about my brother, Tim. He has ginger hair and brown eyes. He likes to play football. He's very competitive, okay? That's just a small information about one of your family members. But in your case, I want you to use the adjectives in order, okay? Is that clear? But you need to say first, I'm going to talk about, and then you can start talking about the person that you want, your father, your mother, your sister. Is that clear? I'm going to talk about. That's going to be the expression that we're going to use. I'm going to talk about. And then you say the name and describe the person. Okay, ready or not ready? I am ready. Okay. Yeah, I am ready. Awesome. Awesome. All right. So let's see. Vemos sin miedo al éxito. Yes. <laughs> Alexandra, go ahead, please. Okay. Um, I'm going to talk about my mother. She is tall and has white skin. She likes dark brown hair. She has big eyes and uh profile yeah. um, nose uh, that make her pretty. Um, she's brave, uh, honest, just the best. Okay, and tell me about her favorite hobby. Oh, and her favorite 
Colby is um, reading. Reading. Okay. Thank you. Sandra, who are you going to talk about? I'm talking about my daughter. Her name is Allison. She has a long red hair. Yes. And she is thin. Mm -hmm. She has a big eyes. And she is brown. She is a thin skin. And she is friendly. Excellent. How about her favorite hobby? No, only listen to music. Okay, her her favorite hobby is listening to music. Okay, Davey, who are you going to talk about? Okay, teacher. And I uh, talk about my sister. Mm -hmm. My sister, uh, uh, the name, the, look, my sister is... My sister's she, name is... My sister's name is Esther. Mm -hmm. She has a long, long hair, okay. black, and more or less blonde. She has a beautiful, beautiful face and okay. big, and she has big eyes. Big eyes. Big eyes. And she is a person uh, friendly uh -huh. uh, and extroverted. 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 And, and how you, about the favorite hobby? And your favorite hobby is design. Diseñar. How, how do you say? Uh, is a designer. Ah, is a designer. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So I'm going to give you another example, a complete example. I can say, I'm going to talk about my brother. His name is Carlos. He has short and black hair. Okay. He has a round face. He has a round face. You can also say, um, he has black eyes. Okay. Uh, he has dark light skin. Dark light skin. He is very tall. Um, he is, let's say, strong. And he is serious. He is strong and serious. His favorite hobby. Javi is playing soccer, playing soccer. Okay, I have a completed, a complete example for you to follow the example. So you are going to say, I'm going to talk about my brother. I'm going to talk about my mother. I'm going to talk about my sister. His name, her name is, and then you continue describing. Is that clear? Like the example I, I'm sending you, okay? I'm going to talk about my sister. Her name is Sandra. She, is, uh, she has black and long hair. She has a round face. She has a uh, blue eyes, okay? She has dark light skin. She's very short. She is uh, introverted. Uh, her favorite, Javi is uh, going to the beach, for example, going out. Okay, thank you. Leticia, go ahead, please. 
Norma Leticia, who are you going to talk about? Okay, good evening. I'm going to talk about uh, my sister. Mm -hmm. His name is Eris. Her name is? Her name is mm -hmm. Eris. Yeah. Uh, she has a toy? No, she is tall. She is tall. Mm -hmm. um, a is brown. She, she has, he has a brown, brown eyes. eyes. Um, she has a brown, brown. No, brown eyes. Brown, brown eyes. Sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, she is beautiful. Okay. My is the your favorite is her favorite. Her favorite is her favorite hobby is her her favorite hobby is listen to music. Listening to music. Okay, listen. thank you. Uh, let's listen to Mr. Baldomar. Are you here? Yeah. Who are you going to talk about? I am going to talk about her is my daughter. daughter. I'm going to talk about my daughter. Mm -hmm. She is... Um, her name is. Uh, her name is um, is Rosmi. Mm -hmm. She is. Um, she she is um, um, extroverted. She is. Um, okay. A is brown. She, she is, has um, brown eyes. In order. Uh, she has. Uh, Browns, um, she is pretty, mm -hmm. she is um, aesthetic, she is happy, she is um, sociable. 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 Um, um, his favorite hobby is watch videos uh, princess. Okay. Videos about princesses. Okay, Eugene, tell me about your family member. Who are you going to talk about? Okay, I'm, I'm going to talk about my son. His name is Eugene Tercero. Okay. Eugene Tercero. He has short hair. Uh, he has brown eyes and he has black hair. He is tall, he is introverted, he is cute and shy. Uh, his favorite habit is play Free Fire. Free Fire. Uh, free Fire. He loves this play. Okay, he loves playing that video game. Sandra, who are you going to talk about? I'm talking about my sister. I'm going to talk about my sister. Mm -hmm. Her name is Lilia. Yes. She has a short, short hair. Yeah. And she has um, a thin base. Okay. She has um, black eyes. Okay. And she, she is... Um, She's short. Okay. And she's um, a cute. She's cute. She's cute. Okay. And she's friendly. Okay. And your fa and her favorite hobby mm -hmm. um, is um, cantar. Singing. Singing. Yes, thank, thank you. Hector, who are you going to talk about? I'm going to talk about my mother. Mm -hmm. And her name is Flor. Yeah. 
and she has a beautiful long hair. Mm -hmm. uh, her hair color is black. Yep. And her face is kind. I think I think her face is like a, a small face. Okay. Her eyes color is black. And my mother's skin color is light brown, I think. Her appearance is like a thin person. And also when I talk about uh, her personality, I like to say she is, uh, she is a, a shy person, kind of introvert. Mm -hmm. And introvert. Her, oh, introvert, sorry. And her hobbies is watches TV series on Netflix. Mm -hmm. And her favorite food is soap of Guyana, India. Okay. And that's all. Thank you. Catherine, who are you going to talk about? I'm going uh, to talk about um, my sister. And her name is Camila. Mm -hmm. And my sister is short. Yep. And she has a beautiful face. She has um, has brown eyes. Um, she is beautiful, and she is cool. Yeah. She is um, introverted, mm -hmm. but she is also um, funny, mm -hmm. and she is very intelligent. And her favorite hobby is watching the movies and listening to music. Listening to music. Patricia, who are you going to talk about? I'm going to talk about my sister. Her name is Lillian. She's, um, she's high. Mm -hmm. She has round face. She is tall. She's Tall. Uh, she's calm. Mm, she's a uh, lo lovely. Lovely. Uh, she's lovely. Lovely. She has brown eyes. Brown eyes. She, eyes. Brown. She has eyes. bright skin. Mm -hmm. Dark light skin. She, she she don't have hobby. She doesn't have hobby. She doesn't have hobby. Yeah. Geraldine, mm -hmm. thank you. Who are you going to talk about? I'm going to talk about my mother. Her name is Estranza. Mm -hmm. Has a straight and short brown hair. Mm -hmm. Her face is oval. She has gray eyes. Her skin color is white. She's white. tall and thin. Okay. Her appearance is a jovial person. And she is very friendly. And your favorite hobby is dancing. Hair. Hair. Her favorite hobby is dancing. Luis, who are Hair. you going to talk about? Hi. Uh, I'm going to talk about my daughter. Mm -hmm. Her name is Madison. She is a very funny girl. Uh, she has dark brown eyes. She is a girl, really funny. Uh, she likes to draw and paint. Uh, she has long and blonde, blonde hair. Her skin is great light. Yeah, um, her favorite food is sopita de pollo. Okay, and how about favorite hobby? She loves uh, draw and paint Painted. and watch okay. and paint yeah, and watch videos in YouTube. Thank you, Kevin. Who are you going to talk about? Good evening. Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, about my sister. Good evening. Uh, her, Go ahead. Name, her name is uh, is Evelyn. Mm -hmm. She is uh, eighteen years old. Uh, she has 80 uh, years or 18 years old 18 years old mm -hmm. sorry uh, she is short she uh, she has a uh, black eyes uh, she is very very short 
she is very friendly and pretty. After that, uh, in her free time, he, she loves to watch uh, videos on YouTube or TikTok. And two, she watches uh, videos, uh, movies at night. Thank you. Lydia, who are you going to talk about? Okay. I will talk about uh, my daughter. Your name is Adeline. Her name. Her name is Adeline. She is very intelligent. She has brown skin. Um, she has brown eyes. Brown she eyes. Brown eyes. She is hyperactive. Hyperactive. Um, she has Afro hair. Mm -hmm. um, you like to dance. And your favorite job is, is playing. Her, her favorite hobby. Her favorite hobby is playing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Leila, okay. who are you going to talk about? Okay, uh, I'm going to talk about Karina. Uh, mm -hmm. She is my sister and she is very intelligent. Yeah. She is pretty and uh, she has pretty. brown eyes of pretty. Mm -hmm. uh, she has long hair and she is very, oh, sorry. She likes to play soccer and cooking. Uh, she is friendly and interactive. Uh, she is happy. Uh, she loved the uh, tell uh, English. Okay, Alexandra, who are you going to talk about? Um, fui la primera en participar. Uh, oh. lo... <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, let's see, Silvia, do you participate? Okay. Okay, Ana. Uh, I'm here. Silvia. Oh, do you participate? Uh, uh, not yet. Okay. But, uh, I'm, uh, I am ready. Okay, go ahead. Who are you going to talk about? Okay. I'm going to talk about my, my mother. Her mm -hmm. name is Silvia. She is short and black. Her, uh, she has. She has short and black uh, hair. 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 She has a wrong face. She is patient. Patient. She, patience. Thank you. She has short hair. She has brown eyes and uh -huh. she is very cute, honest, and friendly too. Uh -huh. Her her favorite hobby is to watch Turkish movies. Uh -huh. Turkish movies. All right. Thank you. Uh, Jenny, who are you going to talk about? Anna, do you participate? I'm going to talk about my son. Okay. okay. Go ahead, Jenny. Um, he, his name is Andres. Her name is. Uh, are Her you name. talking about your son? My son, yes. Ah, okay. Yes. His name is? <laughs> is Andres. Mm -hmm. um, he has a short hair. He is tall. Um, uh, he is brown color. He uh, has dark he has, light uh, skin he's brunette oh okay um yeah he is uh para decir gordito he's short he's short okay um and his hobby is playing video games thank you Anna, who are you going to talk about? Yeah, I have a question. Yep. Uh, would you say her favorite hobby is or 
her, her, her favorite hobby are? His favorite hobby is. Okay. Or you can say his favorite hobbies are. Uh, Remember uh -huh. singular and plural. If you say hobby, exactly. yes. you're going to say is. If you say hobbies are. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. Yes, Anna. Okay, I'm going to talk about my son. Mm -hmm. uh, his name is Matthew. Um, she, he is uh, short and wavy. And he has um, black and black eyes and black hair. Uh, her personality is... I'm sorry? His personality is um, introverted. Um, he is uh, light, light skin. And what he has dark light skin or white light skin? He has or he is. No, he has. He has dark light, light skin. skin. Mm -hmm. And her favorite, his favorite hobbies are um, listening to music and play video games. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Norma Crespin, the last one. Who are you going to talk about? Norma, are you there? Okay, it's all right. So let's do something. Since you already know how to describe people, we are going to describe ourselves, okay? How do you look like? How do you look like? Okay, for example, I can say, if I follow the structure, if you already know, my name is Douglas, so I'm going to talk about myself. And this is going to be the expression. I'm going to describe myself. I'm going to describe myself. So in my case, I can say that I have a short and black hair. I have a round face. I have black eyes. I have dark light skin. I'm tall, 175. Well, let's say the average. Um, I'm organized. And my favorite hobby is uh, listening to music. I will say that. All right, so that's about myself. But I want to listen to some of you. Let's see, David, how do you look like? David, is David here? Luis, go ahead. How do you look like? Sorry, uh, can you repeat me with structure? How do you look like? Uh, in my, myself. I'm going to describe myself. Okay, uh, I am, I am, uh, my, my, my skin is light, uh, White light, uh, I have... I have what, light skin? I have uh, eyes, bro dark brown eyes. My hair is cor curly. I curly. have curly hair. I have curly hair. Uh, I, I am really tall. How tall are you? I, my, to, my size. Yeah, how, how tall you, are you? Uh, how do you say my size? 
Yeah, how tall are you? I'm 175. How tall are you? Uh, no, I, I am tall. No sé cómo decir, soy de 1.84 de estatura. 184. Eh, size. Yeah, are you 184? I am 84. 184. 184. No se dice ni centímetros ni metros ni nada. Solo 184. Así. One, one, one meter and 84 centimeters. But in short, you say 184. Okay. Uh, I, uh, I am a really funny person. I has much friends and I am really social. Social. Social person. Social. Okay. Bye. Vamos a seguir de autodescribiéndonos mañana. Así que prepárense en sus notas. Porque eh, me ha gustado el hecho que aprendieron cómo describir a sus familiares. Entonces, eso es bien importante. Cómo seguir un orden. Si se fijaron, empezamos describiendo el cabello, luego el rostro, el color de piel, etc. Ok. Entonces, eh, alguna pregunta que tengan respecto a la clase. Les voy a dar un minuto. Ok, veo que no yo, hay preguntas. Yo, yo uh -huh. tengo una. Mañana sí. es la última clase de este módulo. Mañana es nuestro último día. Yay. Okay. Exacto. Ok. ¿Alguna otra pregunta? No. Usted será nuestro teacher en el próximo módulo. No, sé. eh, no estoy seguro. No nos han okay. dicho to todavía, pero si sigo siendo el, el encargado de ustedes, pues seguiremos aprendiendo. Y si no, pues van a seguir aprendiendo con alguien más. Ok. okay. Vaya, entonces los dejo hasta acá. Y buen provecho si no han cenado. And see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.